Hi guys, this is God Love That Lego, and today I am doing the final mock, or maybe the second last mock, we never know, on my Assassin's Creed um, Gateway Castle, or whatever you want to call it. So, when, um, if you remember when the last update was just the gate with the two rock walls on the side, and I done uh, something else, um, you, you got a sneak peek of it in the Assassin's Creed stop motion, but today I'm going to show you the real thing. So, yeah, here we go. Um, so I'm going to start off with the characters, and here is the Viking or the, oh, I'm not going to show you that, the Viking or the Barbarian, and he's just got the kingdom's chest with the sword, and yeah, he's just, he's just the Viking, blah, and um, here's the axe man, and he has the axe with the um, knight hat, knight, knight's head from Lego kingdoms, and then the chest with the uh, green thing around his neck and the chain going down and the chain mail and then he has just black pants. Now, um here is the knight with the sword with the dragon on him and the detailed armor with the dragon and knee guards and the, that and all. And then he has the helmet that goes up and down. And then we have the blacksmith who was arrested be for um rent because he couldn't pay the he couldn't pay his taxes. Like I just basically copied, I just basically copied that of Robin Hood, but I actually like that story. So yeah, and he just has the normal Lego City face with the beard and the smile, and then he has the um kind of what do you call it? I can't remember what it's called. Dunger, I don't know. Um, I think, uh, I think it's just an apron. I don't. I can't remember the name. I don't know, but like, and then he has the handcuffs on because he's been arrested and the frizzy hair, the like, Harry Potter hair, so I'm just going to put him to the side. Now I'm going to move on to the archer. Well, you, you might have already seen this guy, but I'm just doing another. So he has the um, quiver on his back that holds the arrows, and he has the Harry Potter hair, and the big eyebrows, or the, yeah, big brown eyebrows, and the yes, kind of um, smile with the brown beard and then he has the same chest as the X-Man just the green thing around his neck the chain going down the chain mail and then he has the bow and the black pants so that's him and now for the final person well it's not probably the final person because I said I'm, I'm going to be doing more updates so I'm going to try to order some parts of Firestar Toys and, and I will be ordering the blacksmith shop for my city here so yeah Here's the assassin. Now he is pretty much the star of this mock. Um, he has the Han Solo hair with the Kai from Lego Ninjago's face, the Viking chest and Viking pants from Lego Mini Fig Series Four, and um, the black hand, just one black hand, and then he has the um, Highlander sword. So that's him. I was gonna give him the Hobbit sword, but I'm going. I might order that today or tomorrow. So yeah, um, I think he'd look better with the Hobbit sword anyway. Because it's asking to shorter blade than this big long thing because I need to be able to do training. And there's just the horse. I like, do you know the thing I like about the new horses is that one that you can um, put them up and do this. Wait, I'll just put them on the platform because it's really hard to do. I know. So you can do this. And then you can, like, if you have it up, you can put the front legs down. And it looks like. Sorry. <coughs> It looks like um, they're running. That'd be really good for stop motions. So um, now, guys, I'm going to move on to the um, castle. Um, so yeah, just for one moment. All right, guys, I'm back. So time to show you the um, um what I done on the gateway. I'm just moving the gates in. It's pretty freaking hard. Okay, so the gates are freaked out. So I'm just going to start in the middle and nothing has changed at all. So that's a lot of book up. And now I'm going to go into the right hand side and you can see everything's changed. There is a window now with some um, leaves that's after going out. And then there's the jail door and then there's the leaf there. And then there's the place up there at the walkway, as I say. 
And now this is this side is only structural because the other side is um, nature took off on the other side. Um, and by that I mean that all the trees grew. So look. See, um, I trees all all here, and there's plants and trees after growing over, uh, rock stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, and um, I added this little owl up here. Uh, if you can see him, I'm not sure. I do not remember, but I might have added him in the first in the first mock. So that's him. And like, uh, if as you can see, the room is completely dark. So to get better lighting, I just I know this works with stop motions as well, but I just pull across my curtains, got my two desk lamps, and I just put them here. So yeah, it's pretty good. And look, you, as you can see, the quality is really good from here. But when you get up close, then that's when it drops. So now I'm gonna go on the inside. As you can see there, there is the anvil with the sword on it that I got from the Lego blacksmith set. It's broken, that's why I'm ordering a new one. Because I don't know what the piece there. Then there's the silk holder with a samurai sword and a spear. And then there's the axe holder with the Lord of the Rings axe. So that's that. That was actually basically it. And then there's like the axe on the floor there. I know it's upside down, I'm just hope I'm holding the camera. I, oh yeah, and there's this other thing here that I just added right now because I'm a boring boy. Not really. So yeah, I just added that right now because I actually think it looks good. It's the um, ballista or whatever battering arm or something. I don't know what it is, but it has the axes on it. You saw spears or a place. Yeah, so that's that. And I might actually um, add an archer range here. So that's that. Yeah, that's actually basically all I want to show you. Around here. Um, there will be another mock coming soon for this, the la or, or not mock, I mean the last update. Oh yeah, and this is also a shout out to We Brick It. Um, if you're out there watching this right now, We Brick It, thanks for all your comments you sent me. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for keeping in touch with me. Um, you're awesome, so thanks. Thanks for Brick It. And um, that was basically it, guys. And um, this is, I'm just telling you something. Um, if you know who Night Guardian is, he's in a Roman Army thing because he said he likes looking at um, Roman Army videos on YouTube. Um, he likes looking at um, he likes make, looking at armies on YouTube, and he made his own Roman Army. So that gave me an idea. Thank you for inspiring me, Night Guardian Thirteen, and he inspired me to make my own army. And my army is going to be the Aztec Army. And I'm not just going to be using this golden sword and um, golden spears and the shields. I'm going to, they're going to be having gold armors and they're not just going to be wearing this headgear. They're going to be wearing, having their hair long and wearing all the different kinds of headgear as well. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, like, share, favorite, edit, paste, blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, see you in the next video, guys, which will be probably up in about half an hour so yeah guys hope you enjoy the video bye you can't touch this you can't touch this